Hello and welcome back. This is game number two of the world versus Jikaboo, and this is the second round of semifinals for the Average Joe's 1v1 tournament. Thanks again to Max Viren for hosting this tournament. I am Salty, I will be your caster for the day. And this is the best of three for the semifinals. So whoever wins this round, uh, the world is down one and Jikaboo is up one. If Jikaboo wins, he goes into the finals. If the world can pull off two more wins, he will be going into the finals. So this very well could be the final game leading into the finals of the Average Joe's 1v1 and then next we will have the best of one for bronze match that is the third place runner-up to the final game and then we will have the finals shown right after that. Uh, thanks again to Max Viren. We will have a link on the bottom in the comments section to show you guys to that 1v1 tournament website and also thanks to starcraft armory husky hd we love you guys we love the new website it is awesome my life for pylo says jikaboo if you get that reference awesome if you don't uh pylo is a poor little pylon that got massacred in one of the games casted by it was either hd or husky poor little pylo <coughs> sorry so we do have a barracks, real standard play by the world, the Terran player up here on the top right. Uh, not opting for a wall in, unlike the other Terran finalist, the Canadian. The world actually deciding to put that barracks down closer to his base so it's easier to defend. Meanwhile, Jikaboo has his gateway down halfway finished and going again for that real early assimilator even before the cybernetics core. Uh, and Jikaboo also not walling off, deciding not to allow that scout. It's going to allow for defending players to much more easily get up and down this ramp, as well as offense. So uh, there are pros and cons to both walling off and keeping that base uh, close to your base. And this probe was tucked away in this corner for scouting, but he was seen by the world. He's going to get pushed out of there for just a little bit. And this SCV now finally coming in here, seeing... A gateway and a cybernetics core no hidden gateways or any hidden tech buildings anything like that quite yet it is still very early so real standard play from both players right now a tech lab going down for the world as well as an orbital command and this probe just trying to sneak in here and get in a little sweet spot but there's a marine just waiting for him so uh real basic stuff again real fast refinery from the world and we're getting, again, an early Marauder instead of an early Reaper. Uh, that's all preference stuff. A lot of Terran players love to get Reapers against Protoss real early on because you have to get that fast Stalker otherwise. Um, dropping Supply Depots next to the Command Center, always nice for, nice for a little bit of defense. And we do have the first Stalker coming out right away now. And the second Assimilator is now up for Jukaboo. And of course that warp gate being chrono boosted and always very very important. And two more gateways going down for Jikaboo here so we will either see probably a four gate push or maybe a robo bay in a little bit. We'll just have to see how that pans out. Meanwhile the world has very nice view across the entire map here second barracks going down so again this is probably going to be another heavy bio build last game we saw the world go with very heavy marauders and unfortunately it just was not enough and that little poor little scv does get taken out and that stalker is doing a nice bit of scouting here just checking for proxies anything like that making sure there's no cheese going on and this cybernetics court is just about to finish warp gate i imagine we'll see either a fourth gate or a robo bay very soon from jikaboo and another ghost academy from the world last game unfortunately he only had time to get one ghost out by the time that first protoss push uh happened we will see if he can maybe pull it off this time and Stimpak getting researched for the Marauder Concussive Shell is already finished and even adding on a third barracks. Now this Stalker is going to push that Marine back just in time. He's just going to haul ass out of there. Uh, you'll see that pushback. Jikaboo, let's see. 
actually getting a hidden Twilight Council up here. It's going to be pretty hard for uh, the world to scan that. I can't imagine he would drop one up here unless he was specifically looking for some kind of hidden building. So, that Twilight Council is about to finish. Zealot's getting warped in. And I imagine we'll see Charge coming up here real soon. Might be Blink, but considering the number of Zealots he has, I imagine we'll see a Charge coming. And this is a really, really big wall to just protect that Nexus from any kind of attack. Uh, we do have the roll of the fairly sizable army here, getting ready to push out it looks like. A Ghost finally joining the mix, and a Bunker going down for some defense.